Finless Poppers is a flagship species of aquatic animals conserved in the Yangtze River, which is China's longest river. It's under top level state protection and its population is critically endangered. I'm Xinhua correspondent Shu Chang. Now I'm in East China's Jiangxi province. This year, provincial departments and the Institute of Hydrobiology under the Chinese Academy of Sciences have launched an action to relocate Yangtze finless porpoises in Jiangxi province Poyang Lake in order to better protect the relocated finless porpoises and enrich the population's genetic diversity. So far, a total of 21 Yangtze finless porpoises were caught, and two of them were selected and successfully relocated to the waters in Hukou County in Jiangxi. So this area where I'm standing is a Nanbeigang temporary breeding space in the waters of Hukou County, where the two porpoises live now. So after they came here, the staff have been regularly patrolling the waters and closely monitoring the activities of the porpoises. To ensure that they have enough food, the staff also regularly give fish to the porpoises. So since the two porpoises moved to their new home, how are they doing in the Hukou County? And are they living a happy life? So today it's time to deliver another meal to the porpoises. So let's go and take a look. Hey, 大哥您好, 想问一下, uh, so he said that there are almost 1,500 kilograms of fish today, which will be given to the two porpoises in the river. Okay, so there are almost 40 kilograms of fish in this one box. Oh, the fishes are so lively. Okay, it's almost 50 kilograms. So he said that all these fishes are grass cups and they are bought from uh, breeding bases in other counties. So every month, how do you decide the number of fish in the river? We are according to the fishing rules in the river. Then we set the weight of its size and the weight of the fish. So so the two porpoises will find fishes by themselves in the in the river, but also staff here will provide them with live baits three times the amount they actually eat regularly and in the same places. So since they moved here, they have been living a healthy life, surfacing more than ten times a day. So I want to see how much fishes are left in this car. Let's go check. Okay. 
请问这边还有多少鱼呀、啊？还有六七个斤。好的好的。So he said that there are still about three hundred kilograms of fish, and all of them very soon will be transferred to the riverside, and we will pour them into the river very soon. So let's go. So now I'm going to take this box of fish downstairs with our stuff. Nice. Oh, it's really heavy. About fifty kilograms of fish. Uh, I'll take it. Okay. So the wind is so strong today, and I saw them come and back for about twenty times. So it's really a hard job, isn't it? Just on here. Such a big meal. I'm not sure if these two fingerless porpoises will come here or not. So this is the director of the local aquatic biological protection and rescue center. So we, 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 呃，生活健康健康状况。嗯 ，OK。So he told me that besides feeding the populace, the staff here will also regularly patrol the fences and the waters, and closely monitor when and how often the fingerless porpoises go out of the water and their health conditions. 嗯，所以我我知道当时我们一共是捕捞了有二十一头江豚，所以最后为什么选择了这两头江豚运到这边来？对的。这个江豚迁地的话，迁迁地的话，我们需要对这个呃捕捕捞上来的一个整体的一个状况进行一个体检。嗯嗯。啊、呃，我们当时捕捞的是有二十一头江豚，但是呢，呃，有一些亚体，还有一些那个呃母体怀孕的，或者是以那个比较偏小的亚体了，我们都呃进行了一个体检过滤。嗯。啊，选择了。两头这些雄性的成年江豚啊，进行迁入。嗯哼。He told me that the Yangtze fingerless porpoises are scarce, and each one is of great value. So, in order to minimize the impact of relocation on them, the Yangtze fingerless porpoises to be relocated have to meet strict requirements on age, sex, and physical conditions. So, generally, young and strong fingerless porpoises are selected. So after they were caught, they need a physical examination. For example, their weight, their length, their circumference, and other indicators, and also their sex, and their blood, microorganisms, and other biological samples. So male ones are more likely to be selected. For female ones, if they are pregnant or if they are still nursing their children, they will be put back into the lake. <laughs> 所以未来我们还有哪些关于江豚迁地保护的计划呢？嗯，呃，去年下半年在鄱阳湖急口水位情况下，我们从呃鄱阳湖呃检测挑选了两头雄性江豚到这里
。后期呢，我们还将从安徽、湖北千里保护基地啊，继续迁入六六头江豚，丰富这个江豚的一个生呃结构。Okay, so I asked him what are the future plans of relocation protection of the finless porpoises. According to what he told me and what I've known, last year China's Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs published a document about the relocation of Yangtze finless porpoises as the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River were affected by drought. According to the plan in the document, Eight Yangtze finless porpoises from Jiangxi, Hubei, and Anhui provinces will be caught and relocated here. So, as we have already known, in Poyang Lake, 21 were caught and two were relocated here, and the other 19 have been put back into water. And the remaining targets are to be completed before the end of this year. 那除了迁地保护，我们保护江豚还有一些别的什么策略？嗯，除了一系列。法律法规相继出台。过去三十年，长江江豚保护长期遵循着就地保护、千里保护、人工繁育三大政策。就地保护重在采取长江为长江江豚野外繁衍营造良好生存空间。目前呢，全国已经建立了八个长江江豚的自然保护区，而千里保护呢，就是将一些适合的这个长江江豚呢，迁入。到这个长江的生态条件和长江非常相近的一些水域，呃，利于长江江豚在自由状态下生存繁衍。目前呢，全国已经陆续建立了五个千里保护基地。So I asked him what else can we do to protect the finless porpoises except for、uh, relocation. He told me that in the past 30 years, there have been majorly three paths to protect them, namely in situ conservation, ex situ conservation or relocation, and captive breeding. So ex situ conservation or relocation, as we saw just now, is to relocate eligible Yangtze finless porpoises to places where the ecological conditions are very close to those of the Yangtze River and where the water area is much larger. At present, five relocation reserves or bases have been set up across China. As for in situ conservation, it focuses on creating good conditions for the Yangtze finless porpoises to breed in the wild. At present, eight Yangtze finless porpoises nature reserves have been established across the country. Ah, yes. 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 呃，得到很好的保护，为长江江豚栖息创造了更好、更有利的条件。在二零二二年第五次全流域科考的时候啊，鄱阳湖的长江江豚数量已经达到了四百九十多头。在风水期的时候，它们数量还会更多。So he told me that. After China's 10-year fishing ban on the Yangtze River, a series of ecological protection measures have been implemented. And so the Poyang Lake has been recuperating with its aquatic biodiversity well protected, which creates more favorable conditions for the Yangtze finless porpoises. Last year, a scientific expedition shows that the population of finless porpoises in Poyang Lake has reached more than 490. And there will be more in high water periods. 好，谢谢您接受我们今天的采访。Among the 21 fingerless porpoises caught during the relocation mission in this February, six are females. One of them is a one-year-old juvenile porpoise, and other five are all pregnant and in good health. So thanks to the 10-year fishing ban and the Yangtze River, the population of Yangtze finless porpoises in the Poyang Lake has been increasing, and the people are now seeing more finless porpoises surfacing and more mother and child porpoises. So in today's visit, we've seen great efforts have been made to protect this critically endangered species and how biodiversity conservation is highly valued at all levels in China. Now we are about to wrap up today's Xinhua Live. Thank you for watching and see you next time.